Konnichiwa! Retro Gaming is about to welcome a new generation to its ranks, and with it, a new console. And it's the big one. Game on! A little over 18 years ago, Sony released its sequel to the PlayStation, the PlayStation 2, and it would go on to become the biggest selling console of all time, with over 150 million units sold. There were nearly 4,000 titles developed for the console, and over 1.5 billion games were sold to PlayStation 2 owners. 18 years on, and a lot of those PlayStation 2 gamers are now starting to spend their hard-earned cash on rebuilding their PlayStation 2 collections, along with a whole generation of gamers that weren't even born when the PlayStation 2 was released. This huge audience of PlayStation 2 fans made up of retro gamers, gamers that grew up with the PlayStation 2, and gamers that are new to the PlayStation 2 are starting to drive up the price, and so it's not going to be long before the PlayStation 2 becomes one of the most expensive consoles to buy for. In today's show, I'm going to be going through my PlayStation 2 collection. And the PlayStation 2 is pretty special to me. It's where I started off my games development career, and I actually created two games for the PlayStation 2, which I'll touch on as we go through the collection. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything you see in my PlayStation 2 collection that I'm missing and should definitely get, or if there's a game in here that stirs up those classic gaming memories. Take a seat and get comfortable because there's a lot of games to go through. First up, Shinobi, and uh, it's still sealed. Death by Degrees, and this is still sealed as well. The very awesome Bleach, sealed. Dragon Ball Z Budokai, Urban Rain, Capcom vs SNK2. It's an absolutely brilliant game. Marvel vs Capcom 2, SNK vs Capcom SBC Chaos, Street Fighter Alpha Anthology, Hyper Street Fighter 2, Alone in the Dark, and this is still sealed. Vampire Knight, Crisis Zone, and this is sealed. Time Crisis 3, Time Crisis 2, 13, Battlefield 2 Modern Combat, the absolutely amazing Medal of Honor Frontline with that absolutely stunning first level on the beach. So I've got the Red Faction 2 demo, Red Faction, and Red Faction 2. Kind of preferred Red Faction 1 over Red Faction 2, I think. Kill Zone, and I've got it for every territory. So uh, the European front cover, the US front cover, and the Japanese front cover. Which front cover is your favorite? Manhunt, very dubious zombie hunters, classic God of War, classic, classic God of War 2, Activision Anthology, Midway Arcade Treasures 3. I don't know what happened to 2 and one Now we've got the SingStar games. And I got quite a few of these, and, and it's because I worked on it, but on the PS3 version. And the thing about SingStar, it's not to everyone's taste, but this game bankrolled PlayStation 2 development. So I've got ABBA, the original SingStar, SingStar Sing Along with Disney, SingStar Party, SingStar Motown, SingStar Queen, SingStar Amp, SingStar Hottest Hits. And for some reason, I got two copies of SingStar Boy Bands versus Girl Bands. Now we're going to look at some of the best trilogies that came out on the PlayStation 2. We've got Jack and Dexter 1, Jack and Dexter 2, and Jack and Dexter 3. The Jack and Dexter trilogy was probably one of the best out on the platform. Sony also ported over Jack and Dexter and The Lost Frontier from the PSP to the PlayStation 2. One of my favorite trilogies of all times, Ace Combat. Ace Combat Squadron Leader, Ace Combat Distant Thunder, and Ace Combat The Belkin War. Next up, the biggest selling trilogy on the PlayStation 2, Grand Theft Auto. So we've got Grand Theft Auto 3, which was the series first kind of true 3D outing. Also worth noting that Grand Theft Auto 3 didn't sell that well initially, and the magazine Edge gave it a really poor score. But over the next few months after the game's launch, hype around the game absolutely went through the roof. And this game ended up becoming one of the biggest sellers on PlayStation 2. Grand Theft Auto Vice City, 
probably my favorite. And then the biggest selling game on the PlayStation 2, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Next up, Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank 1, Ratchet and Clank 2, and Ratchet and Clank 3. One of the PlayStation 2's first launch titles, Time Splitters, and an absolutely killer first person shooter. And this got better with every sequel, Time Splitters 2 and Time Splitters 3. Next up, the Devil May Cry trilogy, Devil May Cry 1, Devil May Cry 2, and Devil May Cry 3. And here's a trilogy where I don't have the full trilogy. I got Sly Raccoon 1 and I've got Sly Raccoon 3 sealed, but I've lost Sly Raccoon 2. Prince of Persia The Sands of Time, Prince of Persia The Warrior Within, and Prince of Persia The Two Thrones. No, no, not now! We've got Ico in its special edition cardboard box. Shadow of the Colossus in its special edition cardboard box. Primal, kind of a spiritual sequel to Primal. Ghost Hunter, <laughs> no. Mr. Mosquito, DJ, Dex and FX house edition. Dog's Life, Space Channel 5, sealed. One of my favorite games on PlayStation 2, Katamari Damacy. Onimusha, Onimusha 3, still sealed. Shinobi Way of the Ninja, sealed. Trapped, sealed. The awesome but slightly strange Fahrenheit, sealed. Jet Li Rise to Honor. I got the Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty game demo. Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Dead or Alive 2. We might as well get this out of the way. It's the getaway and I was the vehicle artist on the getaway. I got one copy here. It's the European copy. This is the UK copy. This is the US copy. This is a signed US copy. Platinum edition. Special limited edition. I also worked on the getaway to Black Monday as a vehicle artist and I also did some of the exterior gameplay missions. This is a signed copy. The Getaway Black Monday Japanese version and another sealed copy of the Getaway Black Monday UK version. Resident Evil Code Veronica X, Resident Evil 4, Silent Hill 2 Director's Cut, the absolutely stunning Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts 2, The Brilliant Ring of Red, Dark Cloud, Dark Chronicle, uh, of which I deleted my wife's save as she was about 70% through. Sealed Odin Sphere, Grandia 2, the absolutely brilliant Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. I think I've probably played this through maybe 10, 12 times with my wife. It's a stunning game. Another massive phenomenon, phenomenon, phenomenon on the PlayStation 2 was the iToy. So we've got the iToy Play here with the camera, iToy Play 2, iToy Groove, iToy Play Sports iToy Monkey Mania, and uh, this one's sealed. iToy Play Astro Zoo, and I'm not surprised that this one's sealed. iToy Chat, and Spy Toy. Uh, another big hit on the PlayStation 2 was Buzz, and I think embarrassingly, the only one I've got is Buzz the School Quiz. Key Stage 2, ages seven to 11. Crazy Taxi, My Family Growing Up in the 21st Century, Metropolis Mania 2, Dragon Blaze Sealed, Gradius 5, Commandos 2, Men of Courage, Forbidden Siren 2, Sealed, and I actually have Forbidden Siren 1, but it's in a press pack here somewhere. Metal Slug 4, Extermination. I got two copies of Dropship, one UK and one US. Brilliant Burnout. Burnout 3 Takedown, probably the best arcade racer on any platform for Generation 6.
Roko King Super DX. And this is kind of like a weird Japanese golf game. Disney's Extreme Skate Adventure, SOS The Final Escape, and this is Sealed. Gun, Sensible Soccer 2006, XG3 Extreme G Racing, and this is Sealed. The PSP port of Wipeout Pulse, the very disappointing Wipeout Fusion, Need for Speed Underground 2, MotoGP, Gran Turismo 3 A-Spec, WRC World Rally Championship, the absolutely stunning and classic Rogue Galaxy, and I've still got my copy here, Sealed. Disgaea Hour of Darkness, and I must have put hundreds of hours into this game. Final Fantasy X, and I actually named my daughter after Unileska. Final Fantasy XII with that brilliant new combat system. Champions Return to Arms. And if you ever get the chance, pick up Champions of Norath, which was the original. And if you're a Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance fan, you'll absolutely love this game. Squares the Bouncer, Lupin 3, sealed. Siphon Filter Omega Strain, also sealed. 24 The Game, sealed. Socom 3 US Navy seals. This was a brilliant series. And this version sealed. Another launch title, SSX. Tony Hawk's Underground, FIFA 2002. Pro Evolution Soccer 4, FIFA Street. Uh, this is another game that I worked on. This is, this is Football 2002. And I created the character heads and faces. This is the French version of This is Football 2002. And it was specially built for the French national team Brian Lara International Cricket 2005 NHL 2005 the brilliant Xeno Saga episode 2 and this version is the special edition with the DVD and it is still sealed and finally one of my all-time favorite games on the PlayStation 2 Zone of Enders And there we go, there's my complete PlayStation 2 collection as it stands today. And I think as I'm seeing prices starting to creep up, I'm gonna start investing more in this collection. There were some brilliant games that I didn't pick up when it first came out. If you like listening to an old video games developer talk about retro gaming, then why not click on my little pixel head below. And if you want more PlayStation goodness, then you can check out this video over here where I talk about the best, worst PlayStation 2 games that you can buy, or this video down here where I talk about the PlayStation Classic Mini. 